Hello, Wildcats. Thank you for tuning in. Today's story is I don't want to take a bath. Hmm, sounds silly, but I bet a lot of you have probably said that to your parent. So let's see how our tiger friend or ticker friend is doing in this story today. All right, can you see okay? All right. Little Tiger had spent the whole morning playing exciting games. He didn't mean to get dirty, but afterward, Mommy Tiger said, "Little Tiger, you need a bath." I don't want to take a bath, Little Tiger answered. Now, isn't that true that a lot of times we don't mean to get dirty, right? We don't mean to make a mess, but sometimes we just do, and that is what happened to Little Tiger too. He was just having fun. But then he got dirty. All right. Bathing is fun," said Mommy Tiger, and she took him down to the river to clean him up. But Little Tiger wouldn't get into the water. "I don't want to take a bath," he cried again, and he hurried off into the jungle before she could make him. Who do we do that sometimes? When my, you know, when our daddy or mommy wants us to do something we don't want to do, and we might be running away, that is not the best choice that we can make, right, boys and girls? All right. So then, where did he head off to? First, little tiger visited his favorite friend, little monkey. They climbed trees and swung from vines. Little tiger wasn't as good at at climbing as little monkey. And when he fell off, his paws became very dirty. Now again, little tiger did not mean to get dirty. He was just having fun, but sometimes that's what happens. Then mommy monkey shouted, "Bath time!" Little monkey and little tiger too. I don't want to take a bath! cried little tiger. And with a flash of his dirty paws, he scurried past mommy monkey toward the bushes. So now it's interesting to note that it's not just mommy monkey and mommy tiger who thinks little tiger needs a bath. All right, there's going to be more daddies and mommies who think that he needs a bath too. Next, little tiger went to play with his old friend little bear. They crawled through the bushes and searched for ripe berries. Little tiger got berry juice all over his face. I can actually relate to this. When I eat blueberries, sometimes if I'm not careful, it can get my clothes really blue. All right, you see okay? Then Daddy Bear growled, "Bath time!" Little Bear and Little Tiger too. I don't want to take a bath," said Little Tiger. And twitching his stained whiskers, he scampered past Daddy Bear down to the water hole. So where is he heading off then? It doesn't look like little tiger is done playing yet. At the water hole, little tiger met his dear friend, little elephant. They started to wrestle, and little elephant squirted mud all over little tiger's fur. Then daddy elephant trumpeted, "Bath time, little elephant and little tiger too." I don't want to take a bath. Answered little tiger, and asking his muddy coat, he raced. Oh, oh! And shaking his muddy coat, he raced past Daddy Elephant toward the grassy plain. Is he done playing yet? I don't think so. Who else is he going to play with next? All right. Little tiger visited his new friend, little rhino, next. They charge around in the grass, and little tiger got burrs in his tail. Then mommy rhino roared, "Bath time, little rhino and little tiger too." I don't want to take a bath," said little tiger. And swishing his tangled tail, he galloped past mommy rhino back into the jungle. So he escaped once again. Well, what's going to happen next? Is he going to play more? Maybe. Mommy Tiger will be wondering where I am, thought Little Tiger. 
knowing he was probably in trouble, he sadly started for home. But wait, what was that? Hmm. Little Tiger looked up and saw. Oh, girls and boys, what is he going to see? Oops, I think I skipped page. Uh, well, actually, I did not skip the page. How weird. All right, excuse me for that. A handsome peacock showing off his tail. How beautiful, gasped Little Tiger. Will you come play with me? I guess Little Tiger is still not done playing. And look at the peacock. <gasps> that is pretty, isn't it? And that is the peacock's tail. Well, what do you think the peacock is going to say? Are they going to play together? Like all the other animals did? Not really. The peacock turned up its, his beak. Play with you? He said. No thanks. Why not? Asked Little Tiger in surprise. You are so grubby. You would spoil my feathers. Said the peacock scornfully. You need a bath. And tossing his head, he strutted off. So not exactly the nicest thing to say, but it makes the little tiger think. What an awful thing to say, thought little tiger. I don't need a bath. But then, but then something happened. Little tiger wandered on until he reached the river. Playing with his friends had made him thirsty, and he stopped to have a drink. Who is that? He cried, seeing a reflection in the water. It, it can't be me. I'm not that dirty. <laughs> well, is that Little Tiger? He leaned over to look more carefully and fell right in, into the water. Little Tiger spluttered to the surface. It was me, he cried. What a mess I am. At last, Little Tiger took his bath. He splished and splashed in the warm water. It was fun, just as Mommy Tiger had said it would be. Once he was clean, oh, once he was clean, Little Tiger climbed back onto the bank and admired his reflection. Wouldn't Mommy Tiger be pleased? What a big difference. He's not covered with berry juice or mud anymore. He is now a clean tiger. Right then, Little Leopard tumbled by. Hello, Little Tiger, he called. Will you come play with me? Little Tiger looked at Little Leopard's spotted fur and shook his head. No thanks, he said. You are so dirty, you would spoil my nice shiny coat. You need a bath. And with a flick off his clean tail, Little Tiger hurried home. And... The end. Alright, so, boys and girls, and girls and boys, what can we learn from today's story from our friend, Little Tiger? Now. At the beginning, he did not want to do what his mommy asked him to do, which is to take a bath, even though it was good for him. He kept saying, I don't want a bath, I don't want a bath, I don't want a bath. And in the end, by accident, he took a bath. And then he realized, oh, my mommy was right. It was actually a very good thing that I would take a shower, take a bath. So what we can learn from little tiger is that sometimes the adults that take care of us it could be your mommy it could be your daddy it could be your grandparents it could be your aunts and uncles the people that care about us and take care of us they know what is good for us so if they ask us to do something that we don't want we should probably still say yes mommy yes daddy yes grandpa yes grandma or yes auntie and uncle because they know what is good for us so, I hope you liked today's story, and I will see you back here on Monday. Alright, have a great weekend. Bye!